Nino Kenny T. I, I've done a few bits and bobs. Basically off screen grinding. I've gotten a few new citizens, I completed a bunch of side quests, and I leveled up my characters a little bit. So now it is time to continue on with our mission to get to Broadleaf. Now let's see. We need to get to one of the jumpy bits. And I think I need to go to that Sequoia Valley place. Yeah, that's it. Broadleaf. So, let's head to the nearest one, up north. Let's head that way. Nice right, little blobs. And a couple of these guys now are blue for me, so they will ignore me. Which is handy enough. Um, so I explored around for a bit. I took on a few of the of the uh, tainted ones who are around the map. I took those out. There are a few more that I can't tackle yet because they're too strong. But I'll probably come back to them at some point. In the meantime, we're gonna get our ship to fly. Yeah, no. Low level. No. That wasn't that long ago that they, they were too high for me. Alright, let's have a look. I assume I just f fly into it? Blimey! <laughs> it did a literal jump. Alright. It was not what I was expecting at all, but that was hilarious. Oh yeah, hey, I can head back over to the King's Cradle if I want. Uh, that's not for now. Let's just zip around the Icelands and head towards where we need to go. <clears throat> oh, being chased by a stellar jelly. Oh, that's those... Oh, dear God. He's level 51. I think I may have come around the wrong way. Alright. Oh, there's another tainted guy. A splendid squid. There's a few um, quests, side quests in Hydropolis I have where I need to get certain fish. And I haven't been able to find them when I was... Going around. There's a big manticore. What level are you out of idle curiosity? 61. Is that purple? No, it's just a standard chest. Yeah, those guys are way too big. I'm not risking trying to go anywhere near them. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. If you wonder, how does that not fill up eventually with water? Mm, magical world, I suppose. <coughs> <sighs> Typical, I start sneezing when I start recording. But uh, there are certain fish I haven't been able to find when I was doing my grinding, so I can only assume I have to get them on this side of the of the Great Divide. So we'll keep an eye out for sparklies as we go around. There's a little island off the distance. Pebbles. So many pebbles. Nope. Oh, go away, puddle goo. Another boss one up there. Yeah. And this land looks tainted and polluted. It is a literal scrap heap. Huh. Well, this is going to be interesting. A cutty fish. I need one of those. But now, let's see. A trip gate. Junkyard Mire. Yeah. That seems about right. Find green lumber. Let's see if we can find a way through here. Is there even a way through here? 
Oh, there we are. There's a chest in the middle. Looks like I have to come down the other side before I can get that chest. So we'll come back to that. Spangle goo. And robot enemy. There's a number of robot enemies here. Let's change my tactic tweaker then. It's brutal foes. There we are. Solid foes. There we are. That should help. Ooh. These guys are stronger than I was anticipating. Oh well. It was a good thing I grinded a bit. Let's get into some fights. To level up. Prepare to be boarded! Take that. Take that. I don't think he was expecting all those special attacks on him. Oh, Spangle Goose heal. Or was it this guy healing? There. I love some of the arenas. They look very pretty. Okay, so the robot wasn't as bad as I was expecting. So let's head continue on. We'll avoid the big hard one for a bit. I'll do my best. <laughs> may have been slight overkill on that. There's a battle over there. We don't want to head there yet. I did a few of those off screen as well to level up my troops. Nope, leave me alone. I'm going into the town. Can't fight me in the town. So we'll go just into the strange world of science. <laughs> Makes you wonder, is there science actually technology, uh, um, actually powered by technology or, or technology powered by magic? That'll be interesting to see how that goes. Flippin' Nora! Yeah, that about explains it. <laughs> the flippin' heck of this place! Oh my! The tower is... This is the main city of Broadleaf. I've never seen anything like it. Hey! Hey, I hear it's starting soon. Uh... Starting? What is? You're kidding me, right? You don't watch the news? The anti-vector faction is holding the biggest demonstration. Wow. Really? Against the president? Yeah. Yeah, up on the landing pad, or so I've heard. You think we should go take a look? You bet I do. A protest, huh? I guess the stories about people being unhappy were true. I, su I suppose we'd better go and t take a look for ourselves. Mm-hmm. Let's get this trip gate. A rebellion in Broadleaf. Well, if he's a president, wouldn't this make it um, a republic instead? Let's see. The Wandering Wordsmith. I've watched the sun set within inside the metallic treehouse of the towers over Broadleaf. Munch metaphorically on the sugared treat as I... Get up and go not. No, I decide this is not the place for me. The pace of life here is far too frantic. The rottenest botanist. That rhymes. Trees and plants from the forest and now emit an enchanting light, making it feel as if the woods are full of mystery. This light is believed to be the energy the plants absorb from the soil and is apparently related to the glow given off by the trip doers. So they're sucking up light from the soil? I would like to see that a tree that glows. How long until I visit this famed forest? Much remains to be discovered there. Another engineer just passed out. The poor guy hasn't left his desk all week, and I guess he's hit his limit. Somebody should go make a formal cleanse, uh, formal complaint, but who would dare go against Zip? No, that's not like that. That's weird. Hmm. I've always been the kind of guy who toes the company line, checking my own options at the office door. But it's getting harder and harder to do that. People are really divided into pro and anti-vector camps. I just don't know what to... I just don't think it's all that black and white. Yeah. 
I wanted to talk to the little robot. Can I talk to the robot? <laughs> Thanks for visiting Broadleaf Inc. I'm afraid I can't offer you a tour right now. Do they really have to add in the boop 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 beeps? Oh well. Hope you come back and see us again soon. Have a nice day. Alright. Let's head this way then. It's like being in a submarine or something. I've somehow gone past where I'm supposed to go. Oh well. Uh, just grab that. Stardust pepper. Alright. So there's our uh, swift solution, guys. We'll have to remember where he is later. Nothing else up this here, so we're gonna have to go to the elevator that was back in here. Let's check that out. Uh, I think it's over here? Oh, stairs. A loop. Hmm, what if we could just run up? All you need is pick which part of town you want to go to. Uptown? I assume it's uptown. Oh, the robot seems so accomplished with himself. He's like, yay, I did it. Slate gay grey thread. Ooh, this is pretty. The Doom Park. A very pretty water feature. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, and where's this landing pad then? I'm gonna assume it's on the roof. Calm down, Lofty. Calm down. Let's see. Yeah. This is really cool though. I was wondering if you could see all the way down to the bottom, but no, the ang camera angle doesn't go that far. It's time, Bracken. Alright, we better start th thanking everybody for coming. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Who are these weird coloured people? Who are you guys? Haven't seen you around the company. Listen. I'm sorry, but things are about to get dangerous. You'd better leave. Oh. Oh, we were hoping to meet with President Fector. What's all this about, exactly? <laughs> Meet the president? I don't think that's about to happen. Anyway, I'm Bracken. Bracken Berus. I'm the chief engineer here at Broadleaf Industries. I'm the one who gathered all these people here today. We're going to make President Vector finally listen to what we have to say. <sighs> We've got to get through to him, to make him hear what the workers of the company relies on have to say. Golly. Golly. He hasn't been the same since we started developing the perpetual fission reactor. He doesn't care about anything except finishing the damned thing. Not even his employees' lives. Huh. Something like 20 people have already crap... Crapsed? Crapsed? I can speak. Blah. They've already collapsed from overwork. These conditions, they're unacceptable. Huh? What kind of leader would do such a thing? Hey! Hey, Bracken, he's back. Alright, let's do this. Ooh. Look! Uh, uh. What is that thing? It has this giant mug on it. All right. It's an airship. It appears to be an airship of some sort. Uh, look at the face on it. My sentiments exactly. It looks like the mouth can open. So You're I'm wondering, is that like a bracken? passenger walkway, or is there a big gun in there? Thanks, Trey. Maybe now you'll listen, Zip. For too long, the president has been working us like slaves to get his perpetual fission reactor finished. <laughs> but we have a message for him. We are not your slaves, Zip. We're not slaves! We're not slaves! We demand workers' rights. We demand fair treatment. Something's gonna be horribly wrong here. We've had it with being worked half to death. No more reactor. No more overtime. We're not slaves. We're not slaves. That's not what they're chanting in the subtitles, apparently. Sounds like I'm gonna have to let some people go. 
Is he unleashing war bots? Huh? What's that like? Oh. Is this their kingmaker? Or is this a robot? It doesn't look happy. <laughs> Just doesn't look happy. It's like how does moving castle meets a dragon? to those who defy me <laughs> okay he's lost finally his decided to make an appearance huh mr president what a disappointment to see you leading this ragtag resistance you know i expected better of you bracken i expected better of you too have you forgotten what we said when we started out what I can't hear you from all the way up here. We promised to make the world a better place, remember? And we will. The perpetual fission reactor will change the world forever. By and breaking the future it. will be mine to define. Even if it means trampling over everybody who helped you make it this far? You used to care about us. You used to be a leader people could trust. But that's all gone. Now it's progress or nothing, no matter the cost. When did you get so broken? Oh. Ha! I'm the broken one? Look at yourselves, stuck in the past, left behind by the march of progress. I don't need you anymore. Yep, there he is. It is time. Yep. Yeah. He's gonna break a. Yeah, there we are. He just jumps in right away on it this time. So that was the Kingmaker. Pretty sure you just put the Kingmaker in a suit of armor. That was Doloran. Damn, we were too late again. Ah! We've got to get out of here. You're right. I guess we do. Bastion. It's called Bastion. <laughs> How dare you disobey me? He's gonna fire his cannons at it. Yeah, sure. Because that was a smart idea. He's a shield wand. <laughs> I want that. Do you really think you can stop me? Well, let me tell you something, friend. Yeah, it Anybody was a cannon. Anybody who stands in my way... Is he just gonna straight up kill this Kingmaker? Or do we have to fight it? Atomized! Holy shit. Still kicking. Or is it? 